my friends, it is the Chestnut Mountain Tin Man. It is Thursday, October the 8th. And it's been almost a month, I would imagine. Thank you for all the inquiries, all of the asking what happened, where I've been. Uh, as y'all know, most of you know, I got COVID-19 after my mother did. My mother passed away. And we've been sick. I lost... Uh, 21, 22 pounds. Definitely not something I suggest as a way to uh, diet. Definitely not. I am currently on the bike for the first time and I am riding over to Dawsonville, Georgia to go to the Appalachian Armory and pick up a Glock 43X. I'm selling my Smith & Weapon Shield 9mm to my son-in-law and daughter. <clears throat> she had my Shield 40, but she's now going to take the 9mm and he's going to take the 40. She'll be able to control the 9 a little better, even though she shot the 40 well. But I decided that I needed to put a dot on the gun. And I just, just really didn't want to do that to a shield just for some of the apparent difficult or differences and I decided I wanted to go to the Glock so Appalachian Armory sells the blue boxes which are the police price I got a little a little worried when I started uh, after I sold it to my son-in-law and I started the search and uh, nobody seemed to have the blue boxes and there's a substantial price difference of like I don't know a couple hundred dollars but um, Uh, 507k Hollison arrives today then I can get the slide milled and we'll be Glock ready still trying to decide if I'm going to keep my 27 slash 26 haven't decided probably will I don't know it will actually I mean the uh, the two guns carry the same amount of bullets just have to Oh my freaking lord, where did that come from? Oh, just boom. I remember, ever remember that. But, uh, I'm excited. So was uh, my daughter. I gave him a. I gave him a daughter's price. For sure. 
daughter son in law price. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to ride just up here to Gainesville and get it. When I bought my 23 and rode to down to Atlanta because <clears throat> I thought I had to go to Smyrna Police Supply. Nitwit didn't tell me on the phone about the blue label boxes. So I drove the Smyrna Police Supply only to find out I had to go to this other gun store. I was like, dude, why didn't you tell me about that? I rode an hour, or, you know, drove an hour. I didn't have my motorcycle then. I was like, I drove an hour, but I could have probably been much closer to home. But I got to call and uh, Tuesday, I guess. Outdoor Depot, he said he hadn't had blue labels in a while. And they're the ones, when they found out I went to Smyrna, they're like, guys, oh, you should come here. We always have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I call them. Ain't got any. None. Zilch. Like, dang, people. I knew GT Distributors in Rossville had one. Or at least one. That's, uh hour and a half away so I got the list from Glock and started calling around and uh, Appalachian Armory is the one I found that's only 26 miles nice ride so yeah buddy warming up today 79 degrees last time I looked almost warm enough to shed the jacket I've got on this mess jacket because when I took my bike a couple weeks ago to get my Michelins I now have the Michelin Defender 2's on it I think I like it. Of course, it's too early to, for me to check because they're still scuffing off. And Brian said it's not as bad as it used to be, but still be cautious for 100, 200 miles. And it's better to be safe than sorry for sure. But I had put, it was rather chilly that morning. And uh, I had zipped on my outer portion of my jacket. And it takes a little bit of effort to put it on. I just didn't feel like taking it off this morning. I just threw this one on and that's about too hot. Not bad if we're moving, but this stopping at stoplights is making us sweat. I am uh, pleasantly surprised that I can move today. I went over last night to my mother's house. got her washer and dryer and uh, old well it's not old but it's a uh, kind of a what would you call it simple refrigerator she had in her garage and I'm gonna replace my decrepit one in the garage with it That was a 
was a uh, that was a lot of work for just coming out, and then I spent two to three hours before that in my garage cleaning its nasty ass up. It's a pretty, pretty day to be on the Mo Pickle, though. What a day to return to it. One of the first nights I was feeling good, back when it got chilly for a few weeks, three days. I mean, it got rather chilly. And, um, I had gone out. It was like 10 o'clock. I'd gone out to get the mail. I was like, God, it feels good out here. And I got to thinking, man, might be a good night to put on the heated vet, uh, jacket liner and gloves. See how they work. But I definitely wasn't ready for that yet. I know that, especially now. I feel my lack, my loss of strength in my chest with my handlebars. Like when I first got this thing, how heavy it felt because of the fairing. Grand Canyon shirt you were so kind to send me dang a dollar eighty seven yeah even though it's covered up you can't see it it's up under here another reason I want to take the jacket off Probably won't ride back with it. Well, I think I'm going to go to pause, stand by, and come back to you on the return trip with the good news. So, y'all don't go away we'll be back like that but I'm gonna disappear for just a little while a little longer than a few minutes later